Hi there everyone my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to Technoholic in this video we going to do a complete walk over of the software which is buzzing around nowadays which is known as Microsoft Loop now before i present it for you i wanted to explore this software deeply so i was actually using it for last one month and believe me guys for certain use case scenario it is one of the best software available in the market so without further ado let's dive in here you can see we are in our computer screen and i actually have created another video where i have shown you how we can install it which i would say is pretty easy if you want to see that video then i'm going to put the link of that video in the description of this one from there you can check it out it is pretty easy guys now um let me actually type here loop and there we go let me hit enter and when you start this loop for first time maybe your startup screen looks slightly different but whenever you do second time login or second time start it will open this screen which will show you different workspaces so let me actually simplify it for you um if i talk about microsoft loop we can um say that the major component inside microsoft loop is first of all workspace then second one is pages and the templates that the microsoft has done wonderful job in creating to get started quickly then the last thing is component which i would say is building block or fundamental element of microsoft loop and if we combine these all and mix it with our beloved office suite and also add seamless collaboration where you and your team can collaborate together that form microsoft loop so let's start with our first component which is workspace so workspace i would say is kind of folder or you can say is a notebook where you keep all your pages okay and creation of workspace is pretty easy guys you simply need to click on plus and then here you can give your workspace a name for example let's try to generalize it and let's take an example of school for example uh, you want to create a workspace for your mathematics class so i'm going to type here mathematics and let me hit enter and as i said before it gives you option to collaborate so here you can actually invite your classmates let's say you know you want to do some kind of project where you would also like to invite your classmates so you can actually write their name or email for example you are using office enterprise then you will see all your colleagues name appearing here so you can add them here and then it's actually up to you whether you want to work solo or you want to invite someone now since i am using my personal account here so maybe i may not able to type name of somebody but yes i can type email address here and using that email address the loop will send invitation to that person or maybe let me actually type a name here yeah and yes i think the contacts are also synced up so this means that you can also invite somebody from your contact list by just typing their name now let me click on continue and now here microsoft loop is also facilitating us to enter keyword or phrase for example i can actually type like for example maths and then class 6 maths and so on okay now after entering keyword or phrase i can click on create workspace So this was our first component guys which is known as workspace. Now we will talk about our component number 2 which is pages. So as i said before we have a workspace inside workspace we have pages and inside pages we have loop components. So now we have created our workspace now let's create page. So as you can see here um we can see this page uh, which is untitled so here you can give your page a name for example maths project and then we will start adding components here 
but before we actually jump into component let me quickly show you different type of templates available to get started quickly inside microsoft loop for that we need to go down here and then you can see some of featured template for example project brief team decision project planning and meeting notes and our list actually do not end here as i said these are the feature template and actually let's start with one of our feature template and then i'm going to show you how you can actually see complete list of templates available inside microsoft loop so let's start with project brief which you just need to make a click on it and then here we can see within one click we have added all these different type of component and as i said this is template so you can utilize this to get started quickly so again i would say this is a very general template which you need to customize to meet your need for example um this one is my project in mathematics which is related to pythagoras so i'm going to say um project pythagoras and then actually i can delete this one for example if i do not need it then here you can give your project overview you can define your goal you can add your classmates or team member name and then here you can define project deliverable which i'm going to show you how you can with ease at later part when we will talk about components and now let's say you want to add new page after project brief which will cover things in more detail for that you simply need to press here plus button and then click on new page in this way we can add new page here and you do not need to worry about saving guys as everything is saving in real time okay now um this time i do not want to choose any one of these templates but let me click here on template gallery and then here you will see all different types of templates available inside microsoft loop so after creating project brief i would like to create action heroes okay so let me click here on this option which says use template and in this way guys we can create another page using template now let's jump into our third and last building block which is microsoft loop components component i would say is a very basic building block inside microsoft loop and by grouping these component we actually form page and by grouping page we form the whole workspace okay so now i'm going to again click on add page and then i have added new page now let's start with adding an icon for this page let me actually add this grinning face which look pretty cool and then here i can also add any of this cover image which i would say is up to you and in this way we have created our cover page now let's start jumping into components so here let me actually give it a title for example um this one is my meeting first and then let me hit enter and now here we going to add component based on our need for example i would like to add a heading here so for that as you can see the software itself is giving us some kind of guidance which says that press forward slash to insert and i'm going to do that in a while and at the rate to find somebody in your contact or let's say you want to attach a document so let's start by pressing forward slash and as soon as we press forward slash here we can see we have got these different different types of components here and then let me actually start with heading so uh let's take heading 2 and now i'm going to type meeting with simran regarding project planning and as i said before if you want to also invite somebody for example here i'm going to do meeting with simran so i also would like to add her in this meeting 
for that simply what i can do is i can actually invite workspace member so let's click on here and then now i'm gonna type simran and if she is in my contact list i can directly invite her or what else i can do is i need to type her email address and after typing email address i can click on invite so that she also can be part of this okay so now here you will see that simran have joined us and then i have asked her to work on definition of pythagoras so here she will be jointly collaborating with me okay so she will be working on definition and then here you can see she's working and then i will be working on certain other part for example creating checklist here for example need to define and then finding the way to practically prove this theorem and you can see that while i am working on the check sheet or checklist simran is working on pythagoras definition so in this way guys we can also do real time collaboration inside microsoft loop and i can also add comment for example you know here she have created a definition i can actually give her a thumbs up or i can also add a comment good job and in this way actually microsoft has elevated the whole experience to new level okay so apart from just heading and checklist we do have got so many other component for example i can quickly create table here and then here i can write serial number or let's say name and i also would like to add one more column for that i can click on plus and then here you can write comma dt need to order to prove this theorem so you can see how easy it is to add table when um we can compare let's say with microsoft one note now we also have got so many features for example let's say i would like to expand this table to the entire width we can do that and then so on we can also collapse it we also have got this filter switch view and so on and we also can hide a particular column if required now let's go down here and this time i would like to add a divider and i realize i need to add date actually on the top of this definition and here you can see this six dot just simply hold it to drag and just place the date wherever you want so you see how easy actually is to even reorder these components similarly uh, we can add other component for example again let me press forward slash now let me add one more component here which will be um another heading where we will be talking when we are going to do this market shopping so here we will be typing market shopping to buy all the components that will help us to prove this pythagoras theorem and in this way um we have got a very interesting component guys that will actually help us to summarize everything which is creation of table of content so just click on table of content and you will see it will automatically create a table of content by analyzing the content that you have made inside that table although maybe this is not a good use case scenario but let me show you here how easy it is so here let me actually add table of content really quick and there we go here we can see our overview goal team member project deliverable and relevant link it is that easy guys now i would like to you know show you how you can add someone or how you can add any document inside and that i would say again is very easy um you simply need to press at the rate this time you can see list of recent document or file that you can attach directly inside this microsoft loop 
now apart from this document as i said before you can also call out some of your colleague name and then you know you can give him a task i want you to i need your help in doing this part like this we can actually call out somebody's name and in this way guys that person will automatically get notified so in this way guys we can walk inside microsoft loop and we just saw we not only can walk but we can effectively collaborate and work with our colleagues and you can see the whole ui how fluidic responsive it is and how easy it is to work inside microsoft loop and the best way to witness the capability of microsoft loop is by trying yourself and as microsoft loop is completely free you can give it a try and maybe it can help you to elevate your productivity that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you enjoyed this microsoft loop detailed tutorial if yes then consider like and subscribe to this channel as we keep on bringing these kind of productivity video that going to help in your day to day life and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye